The advice I would give to students on how to evaluate information sources is, first of all, be careful and be selective. There are a lot of sources out there and a lot of them are not very reliable. If you're a science student, which is my area, I would say go to Web of Science. So you go to your library database and you start off with Web of Science and you uh, put in your topic and off you go. If you want to just get some general information initially, you could just Google your topic. And again, if you're a science student, the chances are that uh, loads of peer-reviewed um, sources will pop up anyway. Uh, so, so that's fine and then you can go ahead. The criteria that I would recommend that students apply when evaluating sources are, first of all, I think, be very careful that you know exactly what your topic is. So there you would speak to your lecturer about the scope of your topic, um, how narrow it is, how broad it is, because obviously you don't want to go too broad, you don't want to go too narrow. Firstly, I would make sure that you have gone to the library tutorials, preferably in first year. And if that's not provided uh, for you by your course, then you would initiate that yourself. Because there is so many really good uh, sources and information and facilities in the library and you need to be familiar with those from day one. Then I would speak to my lecturer and make sure that I have a very clear idea of what my topic is. You don't want to go too broad, you don't want to go too narrow. Then I would sit down and think about it um, and I would plan. If it's a science topic, um, I would start off with uh, Web of Science if I was a final year student or a third year student. So it really depends on, on what stage you're at. Um, if you're a first year student, for example, or a second year student and you're asked to write an assignment on a general topic in science, you would start off with, uh, for example, some of the science magazines online or in, in, in hard copy, like Scientific American or New Scientist. And that would give you an idea, from their references, that would give you an idea of who the experts are, maybe a Nobel Prize winner or whatever. Um, and then you would go to the library database, uh, preferably Web of Science, and maybe start off with a review article, because review articles are usually very general and, and a lot of them are written for the non-expert. So you would probably, for a first year, second year topic, you would probably get enough information there. If you wanted something a little bit more detailed, then you could go to Web of Science. And again, you have to make sure that you know how to do that and you know how to search properly. And again, going back to your library tutorial, uh, which you would hopefully have done in first year for, for that sort of information. If you're going to do a, a final year project, a really research uh, topic, then you would start off with Web of Science. Again, you could go to a, a, um, a, a um, um, review article, first of all, for example, and then go deeper into your topic by looking at Web of Science and looking at who has published in that area and going into some of, some of their papers. The gold standard would really be Web of Science. Okay, so peer-reviewed is much, much better. There are general articles out there and maybe you could, you could use one, one or two of those, um, but you would want to be um, quoting from peer-reviewed articles or books, but, pre but mostly these days we would, we would use peer-reviewed articles in, say, physics. I think the DCU library is one of the best ones around, so all students should be aware of, of the facilities. They should contact their subject librarian right at the very beginning. Even if you've done a, a, a general sci uh, library tutorial, you should um, know who your subject librarian is for future reference, because you need to know exactly what's there. The library's been updated all the time, so um, on a year-by-year -year basis. So you just need to be aware of what's available and know how to use the sources properly.